All right, here we go. World first black scale brute. That is a monster board. And we have the Lady Ashvane in hand. Yeah, could Weapon Warrior actually be a real Hearthstone archetype? We got the new Weapons Expert card in the Maw and Disorder mini set, and he's being played a little bit in Enrage Warrior, certainly a fringe meta deck at this stage, but I wanted to try him out in an actual weapon-focused deck with other cards that you don't see often, like Lady Ashvane or the Black Scale Brute. And you know what? We won a lot more games than I expected. This is not a refined deck. This deck doesn't have a lot of data supporting it, but it was definitely capable of winning games. And I thought it ran some cool different cards. I suspect this is one of those archetypes that if it got a little bit more refinement in testing, it too could actually be a bit of a fringe meta deck as well. So if you have the weapons expert laying around and wanna try out this deck, then uh, I think you might have some fun. If you don't, you can still enjoy some of these crazy games we had with the Weapon Warrior. All right, Man at Arms a little, little iffy without knowing we have a weapon. Same for Fog Sail. I think we just dig for a better weapon opener or I think if we don't get weapons, I think like Obsidian Smith is our next best or Weapons Expert. Oh, that's a really good opener though. Holy crap. Okay. A really nice opener. Evil draws close. Hello there. <laughs> I don't have a headset on, so I have no idea how legitimate those sounded, but I bet it was pretty close. Evil draws close. Hello there. <laughs> so she sounds like she's like a southerner, like a southern farmer. Hello there. <laughs> All right, Trident's not bad, I guess. Oh, good hit. Nice. That animation looked wicked cool, too. Yeah, I think we're happy to play Weapons Expert for the buff, right? I don't think we need to greet it, do we? I mean, it's really good on a Sharn Trident. That's 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 true, but... Man, maybe I do now with the Ashvane incoming. Like, Ashvane just really pushing the Trident here a lot. That sounds kind of cool to me. Cool with trying it. I don't know. Well, I can play Ashvane this turn too, though, which is probably better. And then expert the turn after, just from a mana standpoint. Coin Ashvane just to get a five-five down is pretty nice. Better than getting a three-two down. Oh, I gotta hit this idiot now, though. Dang. Well, that's annoying. <gasps> More Shans. Perfect. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, the Morshawn has felt good every time I've drawn it. I am gonna eat my words. I trash talked him so hard. Now, to be fair, I did put him in the deck. I gave him the chance, right? I, I had enough faith to include him, but he's felt pretty good every time. I am a, I am a Morshawn apologist now. Still like Ashvane, though. It's really nice. Could maybe go here too. We gotta think about it though, because Black Sail on seven might be really good if we play this guy on six. Really any other play with this that's that works out nicely, you know, I don't know. Just some kind of three drop or something would be be pretty cool. Did they whiff here? They're taking they, they, they seem to have maybe not gotten anything worth it. Oh, they did whiff. Wow. Jeez, they double whiff. They didn't even get one minion down. Gosh, that's tough. That's really gonna hurt. Feel bad there. All right, Lady Ashvane, carry us to victory, dude. Remember, she's buffing everything in the deck, too, which is so cool. So, like, you know, our, our Blacksmithing Hammer is already a 6-2, for instance. That's so nuts. So if I want to draw... Well, yeah, Obsidian Smith will be totally fine. We don't need to draw here. We're, we're getting really close to ending, so we'll just keep pushing face if we can. Hit Ashvane! Nice! Dude, his low rolling like crazy, and I think he's dead. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. This is what these are, I guess. Oh, Felbrush is going to save him. Nice! Oh, shoot, bro. 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 Not chill at all, bro. Not cool, dude. Mad disrespect, sir. Oh, sunken trident. Uh, hitting minions is not super useful for me, actually. I'm better off just taking the raw damage of the Asharan Trident here, or maybe the 
Fog Sail is also just damage. Probably playing Black Scale Brute next turn. Huh, I don't know, with the reach on the Brute? I've got Weapons Expert that can turn this into a 3-6. Which doesn't really feel great. If I go Trident Weapon Expert next turn, I can hit for five. I don't know, man. I think since I already have the weapon and I want to play the Brute, I think I just take that guy for later. I'm just wondering if I even draw here, but I don't think yet. Two does not feel like a very good exchange for the Whetstone here. Okay. What do you guys think about this card, by the way? We haven't talked about this a lot. I This card was... In the, in the review season, so divisive. Everybody either thought it was gonna be the most OP card ever or the most awful card ever that was gonna be useless. Like literally, oh, I play all one drops, that card's stupid. Or like, oh my God, that card's never gonna let me play a card. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I, I kind of had the same take, but I, I rep represented both sides of my review. I was like, well, I think there's gonna be some decks where this is just completely useless. Like you saw, it kind of disrupted us, but not much. We still had a decent turn there. Uh, it was a little disruptive to us, certainly, I would say. Uh, what's crazy is the data on the card so far, its deck win rate is exactly 50%. <laughs> it's the most down the middle. It is like just the most down the middle card I've ever seen. It, it's exactly 60%. That's so crazy to think about. Um, you know what? I think, how much do I just want to go face here? Like how much time do I have? This deck doesn't usually do a lot of great stuff with taunt or healing, right? So I think we just hit for five and set up lethal with the weapon, don't we? I think that's the move. I don't know how much healing they have or taunt they have, but let's make them have it. It's, it's so crazy that it's exactly 50%. <laughs> so it's only 5% of decks right now, which is... I think a little low for Demon Hunter cards. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see, where is it? It's it's in... It's in 36% of Demon Hunter decks right now, so it's not definitely not the like super pervasive everywhere sort of card some people might have expected, but it's not terrible either, right? It's, it's, it's exactly <laughs> what we said it would be, actually. It's kind of fringe good, but not great. It's right in the middle. May, that may go up and down as metas persist, by the way, and I cannot believe they hit double I-beam off their freaking school teacher, by the way. That's so gross. Changing my timeline a lot here. But I think it's okay. We're still going to go face. We're still going to play this big swing card here. We definitely need to respect the Bran. Um, if needed, I can dig for a bigger lethal as well. Like, I can trade the Forge and Flame in here on the three attack to try to find either a Blacksmithing Hammer or a Gorehow that has now been buffed. Like, this is six and this is eight. So, that might help us a little bit here if they don't have any more healing or taunts. So Zymox is not gonna heal any. I mean, it does present a like counter lethal board. Hmm, why did they trade first, I wonder? Oh, he had to be infused, I bet, that's why. So yeah, we might be relying on our top decks here. Pick me, pick me. Oh, dude, we need to win soon, that's gross. Uh, Rokara is lethal, yeah, that's great. That's <laughs> just dandy, that'll do it. I almost feel bad that uh, I didn't draw first. Maybe I should, so that they, I don't, you know, I want them to like, Feel like I had to earn it a little bit, maybe. Oh, I actually was gonna miss it. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. A little BM accidentally. Whoopsie. Boop. Thanks for the Zymox. You gotta use Zymox, not a 7 7, right? It's just way more fun. <laughs> I see some of you freaking out in chat thinking I was about to miss lethal because you thought I had to attack and ping. Uh oh. Thankfully, we had enough health to, to risk our face a little. All right, we like Obsidian Smith. Everything else can go. Weapons Expert's nice. Remornia, a little slow. We don't really need that. And I'm feeling the, the imbalance from one to two. How often would some of these two drops be? I mean, I think these have been good, though, for the record. I haven't hated the Raiders, but they just never seem to connect. That three health is just a little low. Let's see. 
10 stone totem. Whoa, cool. That's cool. Uh, Cannoneer helps me win the board the most against totems, maybe. It's gonna be a little bit later down the road, but probably the most beneficial. Can I just ignore the Sinstone totem and go face if that's the only totem out? Do they really benefit from having totems? I mean, once Stone Rite's online, I guess? Pre-Stone Rite, it's not usually an issue. They do have coins, so there's a chance they... Stone Rite next turn, actually. Oh, well, I got taunts anyway, so okay. Solves that problem, I guess. <sighs> You'd kill it? Well, I don't have any way to actually kill it, but hitting it, you know, that's the conversation, I guess. This guy looks so cool, by the way. Like, because he looks like an old version of me. <laughs> I'm just in love with him because he looks like me. Oh, shoot. Hero power plus attack here is really good with the Inker Totem. That's a lot of stats. Carving chisels, so nuts. All right. This is an awkward mana curve for me. Definitely mandatory, but uh, awkward nonetheless. Defias Fog Sail, though, is pretty good as long as I do it in order. I wonder if I'm better off going Defias Man at Arms, though. That might be better. I wonder if they have Stone Right. They might have been trying to, you know, maximize the utility of the other guy and just had Stone Right in hand, or they may just not have it. I don't know. That's another great totem line, though. Muck Pools? Oh, whoa. Be bad, be bad. Oh, those are pretty bad. Okay. That's nice. Uh actually the right thing to hit here i'm gonna have to i kind of want to hit this so it's more likely to die but i guess i can always kill that with a three two anyway i don't know actually i think it might be a little better man at arms here well no i can't guarantee the stone claws die if i go man at arms can i no we better do this no this is safer just to be sure this can die uh it's i hope it doesn't get hit that would be a waste but hard to predict that or know that so okay that wasn't bad. I'm actually thinking Reborn is going to be decent this game, by the way. I was scared we weren't going to get that late into the game, but now I'm thinking Reborn is pretty good at chipping through totems and stuff. Might be solid. Okay. I think I can go late enough to make the Mana Tide a, a priority to kill. I think I actually do kill it. Oh, interesting. Disabling that. Hmm. I find that intriguing. Uh... Yeah, worst case I can hit the 2-2 in here, but I'm gonna see what I can clean up in the meantime. Uh, is this really worth killing? I just want to start turning the corner and going face more. I mean, it might contest my stuff. I don't know. I think we're okay. I bet this deck's not great at playing from behind. I don't know what they're running exactly, but I bet they need stuff on board to interact. Oh, there's the stone right finally. Okay. Harving chisel again. All right, okay. So this feels like a Remornia turn, actually. Just really push like crazy. Oh, Brute's good too, though, man. Maybe Brute's fine. Yeah, I think Brute's okay. We just go face really hard, right? Hopefully this dies, but if not, I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't. It's just more face damage then. That's okay, usually. All right. <sighs> Hopefully they don't have any big punish for me over committing to board. I'm thinking Remornia can probably get me over the hump either way, though. That was the first time I felt like uh, uh, the black scale felt pretty good, right? It felt really nice. That's going to be too slow. Cool, but slow. Which is good. Okay, cool, dude. Nice. This guy looks awesome, by the way. You never see this token. That's all shaky now. You probably still can't see it, but, but he looks cool. I promise. It's an unusually seen card, so. All right, Sydney Smiths are definitely the, one of the top tier cards in this deck. They also just look so cool. Black scale against priest. Eh, no, that's a mage, not a priest. Every time, that portrait dude, every time. I think we do coin here, by the way. I want to get those stats moving, man. Let's go. Lots of twos anyway, so. Hammer buffed already? Um, boy, I already have the Trident. I don't know. I think I just take the deckhand to get a faster tempo line. 
I don't know when I'm actually playing it. I guess on turn three with the trident. That's fine. I can take the hammer for later if I want. We know we're going to get it on the dredge again, so. We like hatchet better? No, I want to go hard, dude. We're going to take hammer. Let's go. We're going to hit really hard. 6-2 hammer. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to go face here. I don't know how often this gets punished, but I think they're just going to hit it in anyway, so who cares? It's probably an objection or a... Uh... I don't know. We can test objection. Okay, no, that's not a big... It's okay. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Even better. All right. So, a waste of selling counter spell I can just ignore forever, honestly. <laughs> so, I mean, I have one Forged and Flame on the bottom of the deck. The only other spell in my deck is somewhere, I don't, you know, may not come soon. I don't know. Um... Okay, so this could be like explosive rune stuff. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, and that's really good. Ton of counter pressure. We can test here with objection, honestly. I have nothing else to do anyway. And runes. Objection, all right. Yeah, I'm still just gonna go face really hard, I think. This is 12, so. If they don't have any healing here or kill me sooner, they're gonna die. Which, definitely possible to have a barrier, but I think most people are running the, the kind of tempo focus secrets things that impact the game state more than their health since this deck's often a little bit faster. So I'm not expecting to see a nice barrier. I'm trying to think if they have any other defensive plays. Nothing really comes to mind, honestly. <laughs> Poor Orion, dude. Do they have any taunt enablers in, uh, in Secret Mage? I was looking at lists this morning. I can't really remember anything that would be defensive. Scuttlebutt? Oh yeah, Scuttlebutt. Yeah, I, I don't think... I don't think the no hands list was running Scuttlebutt, was it? Scuttlebutt would be very annoying though, yeah. Certainly not the problem right now, but... Is no hands list running Scuttlebutt? I'm gonna assume that's the most popular one. I think he weaved in more hero power stuff, so there's no room for like Scuttlebutts. Oh, that's a sick portrait. I've never seen that before in my life. I feel like I've never seen that portrait in game. I mean, I'm sure I have, but I just don't remember it. But it's really nice. I love it. Uh, Yeah, let's increase our odds of finding an on-time weapon here. A three-mana weapon in particular to follow up the deck hands might be really good. I think we still commit this on turn one in hopes of finding something like a, a trident. Uh, we... Might just tempo anyway here. I'd love to find an obsidian smith or a trident here. Obsidian smith it is, okay. Sadly for us, that gives them a very annoying trade. Whetstone hatchet or just the big rokara. Redstone, whetstone's free, so I could play that with a with a two drop next turn, no problem. Definitely the more aggro we play. I mean, if we go to Gorehal or Rokara, we're not beating through it ever, right? I mean to be honest, I don't think we're ever beating Druid anyway, but, uh, you know, we can try it with this weapon at least. It's, uh, it's gonna help me clean up that minion at the very least pretty cleanly. I think we'll go for the Blood Sail first. Just try to stick some big stats. Oh, nice. Even bigger buff. Cool. Oh, we might as well trade this. I have a weapon for a while, right? That's fine. Ugh. I don't need two of these. That's for sure. Gross. That's not good. I need another good, good two drop. Maybe another Man at Arms would be nice. Okay, does this live, or do they have a 3-1 rushy guy? Trident's not the move, unfortunately. Hero powering here feels, feels really bad. <laughs> it's not how I want to be spending my time. I love that these minions stuck a little longer. That's great, but hero powers are so weak here. Maybe they'll have to nourish and can't answer this again. Like, no cheap removal for this. That might give me the depth I need to win, but I don't know. We're, we're just two dead draws in a row. There's the Nourish. Do they have a spell to remove? Maybe no? Okay, okay. It's another 12, 14 here. Like, we're getting closer, man. Fog Sail is okay, but again, not good, I don't think. I'll definitely equip the Trident in this case. Spin that mana as best I can, but we're still a little short here. Eight mana is definitely enough for them to start stabilizing. Play a scale, clear the board, and then I'm just, you know, playing off weapons alone, which is gonna be kind of impossible. Rokara would be a nice draw soon. 
I guess like a Morshawn this turn or an Ash Vein, something a little bigger. Oh, no. Dude. no, man. Dude. No. No. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, they just need to play a big minion here and I'll Rokara it, right? That's fine. That's how we win. Just draw Rokara and I kill the big minion. Or maybe uh, Black Scale Brute could still be good for a turn. I'm real worried about Earthen Scale soon, though. Morning from the UK. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, man, we drew super dead. This has been the first time we've hit like a total gluttony of weapons. You know, that's been atypical so far. There are a number of weapons, but there's not like three in a row usually. Weapons expert, I mean, it's not great, but it's not the worst card in the deck. How do I beat Earth and Scales? How do I beat like a Denathrius heal right now? It's probably game ending too. It doesn't need to be big. Just anything that gets them out of, you know, Rokara or, or Gorhal range or whatever. Is Earth and Scales that? that? That would be enough. Honestly, they don't need it to be huge. Moonlit looking for Earthen Scales. They must have grabbed it there. That was a snap grab. No Amalgam again. Oh my god, dude. I actually have some legit outs here. They're at six. I have so many outs, dude. Gorhal, Rokara, Cannoneer sometimes. I'd take a Forged in Flame. Oh my god. Oh, Reborn is not it though, bro. Oh god damn it. Oh. I know I'm not gonna get them to two and lose, man. Oh, that's so brutal, dude. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna lose, dude. Oh yeah, these are the bottom. Oh yeah, you're right. Literally at the bottom, yeah. We saw them in the dredge, yeah, geez. We have another Gorhal too, of course. Uh, okay, do they find an Earthen Scales is really the question, or Taunt. That's the only math that matters here. Uh, seems like they did. I think they're BMing a little bit here. Denathrius. It'd be funny if they locked the board accidentally and couldn't Denathrius. How funny would that be, dude? How funny would that be if they accidentally cast too many nature spells and couldn't, they couldn't play him? That would be unbelievably amusing. Oh, I wish, dude. Like, oops, uh, no way! They didn't have it! You're kidding me, I cannot believe we won that game. That is absolute insanity that they didn't have it. Actually nuts, dude. Actually nuts. Oh my, this is a hand. This is, oh! Yes! <laughs> this is the hand that dreams are made of. Yes! <laughs> if you had any doubt what this deck was you don't have any doubts now man that's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful of course we only need one of these and i think the hatchet is definitely the the best opener given our two drop follow-ups here man not a good mulligan that sucks too expensive where we're going we don't need minions or spells sick of any spells i just realized i think this deck might literally have zero spells a forge and flames a spell yeah okay we have a spell that makes me rest a little easier one spell warrior fun demon hunter should never get buffed i i am you know what i, I buy it i'm on board <laughs> i hear you i hear you uh, it's kind of smart i think you're making a lot of sense over here uh, yeah, Cannoneer is good on curve for sure. That's fine. Buffed Cannoneer in particular could be a little harder to deal with. It still dies to drag below, but you never know. Maybe they're sitting on a drain soul or whatever. <sighs> okay, guys, how much do we believe in the Cannoneer here? You know what? I don't I don't really care. I'm going face anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, he knows. <laughs> he knows where it's at. Well, I'd, I'd prefer him to do that than maybe, uh, th then split it at least. At least he knows what's up. That's fine. Yeah, it was a Drain Soul. Wow, so the buff did matter. Nice. Although, sort of enabled Immortal Coil, I guess. Okay, that's that's fine too, though. <gasps> it's the Morshawn again, guys. I will not be the yeah, skip buff for once, dude. I mean, that's a good thing to get buffed if it's not going to be the Morshawn.
All right, turn that we've top decked this Morshan now in three different games on turn four with the coin. It's like it knows. It, it's like he's saying to me, Regis, the only time I'm an exciting play is on turn four. So I'm going to show up in your hand every time on turn four. That's that's it, bro. That's all you get. I think I'm playing a blacksmithing hammer as a four. No, I guess I like Trident a little better in that case. Just keep smorking. We know the plan. This is typically their uh, abyssal wave turn. Although I don't know, Demon Seed might change all that. I'm not really sure where they're gonna go. Feels weird to, to recognize that. I, I think in this deck, attacking with a five-one hammer is totally fine, because we just have so many weapons anyway. It depends on mana and everything, right? But I'm gonna attack with this and then hammer just so that it's up for the brute, right? Oh, 100%. That's the move. Yeah. And then we have Remornia anyway, so. All right. So this is probably Brute and then Remornia. And hopefully that's enough to set up some lethals. I don't know. We'll try. We've dealt, what, 24 damage? That's not bad. And they've actually healed a fair bit already, too. That's a smaller heal, at least. Okay. Oh, the Viper. What a jerk. That just makes Remornia good this turn, though. So I'm okay with that. Man, I love Remornia. So cool. I don't know if Black Scales will be better or Ash Vane will be better. Kind of depends on where we're looking at for damage, maybe. All right. They're kind of sad they <laughs> used the Viper on. Reno! Dude, are you kidding? Freaking Reno Jackson. Are you serious, bro? Ugh, oh, that's gross, dude. Actual Chad, yeah, no, I, I I totally agree. I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the Remornia, I guess. I just don't really, like if this traded, I'd just chill her on board, but I think it's okay to, to lose her. We have more weapons incoming. I mean, the odds of her living on board are just basically zero anyway, right? So, hoping we find more weapons and I'm not locked out here. I mean, the odds are pretty high eventually. Hopefully we don't find like a forged in flame. That'd feel really bad. Good news is you can play Lash Vane, uh, Ash Vane anyway, because she's still buffing the weapon. It's not like you're, you're chill. You don't have to chill. You can still play her. Oh, we're probably dead now, though. That's all of our boards gone. Oh, or not, maybe. Hold up. All right, that helped a lot. About the best draw on the deck by a mile. Still going to be hard to win, but... Definitely feeling better about it than I was a minute ago. This is now a 12 damage weapon with Ash Vane up. Okay. Um, the problem is I'm absolutely top decking. I, oh my God. This guy's the most giga Chad player. Hellcare, dude. I think you're in my chat sometimes, by the way. I just saw your name. I'm pretty sure we know you. You deserve all the legendary uh, moments here, man. You're, you're an actual boss. Might need to top deck though a... Uh, might need to top deck a forged in flame here. Don't know if I can win without that many cards. Uh, I can hit one of the six sixes here kind of for free. Just kill it and deal damage. Not if I get forged in flame, I guess, but the jailer deck could be, that'd be cool. They're running everything else. So, oh my God, that's top deck though, right? That's not, yeah. That's good at news at least. <laughs> Freaking more Sean, baby, here we go. <laughs> Every time, Morshan, dude. You love to see it, Morshan. Go get him, buddy. You got this, Morshan. So we got 13 to go, man. I don't even know if it's right to equip this weapon because there's a lot of a lot of weapons I would draw off the top here. I'd rather play Warhol, for instance, chief among them. I really need Forge and Flame, though, dude. Really need Forge and Flame. Real, real bad. Even on this, I'd take it, man. I just need, I just need Forge and Flame. Black Skill Brute be a decent draw, maybe. What was that, heal? Yeah, heal. Shoot, that really checks my timing here, unfortunately. Ugh. This is bad math, too. If I hit, if I ping face, I have any, like, lethal outs. Or how's only ever seven? Uh, uh, 
I just I don't think going to 12 ever matters, right? Like if maybe they they cleaned up the raider and I had a gore howl And so I'm just wondering if I hit sylvanas or not I don't have time because once that heal goes through i'm dead. We just have to hope they somehow Hit the hit the blood sail raider and then I top deck gore howl. I don't know my only out. I don't know. Just just hope for the best, right? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, that's gonna be minion, right? And well, honestly, I'd almost rather be minion than spell, maybe, so I can at least hit a forge in flame. I don't know. What are they looking at for damage wise? 15, 17. I, don't, I only ever have nine damage max, right? There's no way to get more. Okay, that's just gonna get countered, so that doesn't matter at all. And we're dead. Man, dude, the Reno! How much damage did I do this game? Uh, I feel like I gotta have more card draw, but I don't really want games to go this long, so there's that side of it too, where if I have more card draw, then I'm just worse at killing them early, right? So it makes me kind of better and kind of worse. I don't know. It's like, do you sacrifice your your strengths to shore up your weaknesses? I don't know. To a deck like this to go 50-50, our very first time trying to make it, it's actually, I think, pretty cool. I might keep this. It's a really good curve, and then Forge and Flames is a good backup plan, right? Like, we know we have the early opener that's strong, and then Forge and Flame as sort of a second wave is, I think, pretty nice. Yeah, Crooked Cook's a cool idea. I don't hate that. Might, uh, I don't know, man. I'm still not sure about this like one drop package. I'm still not sure about Blood Cell Raider. Last game though, Blood Cell Raider was clutch. It hit for like 10 damage. So I don't know. I'm I'm still not, I, I really don't know the answers. The, I, I, and I'm not gonna find out, right? This is the sort of thing that if you did want to refine this package, you would need data, you know? You need people playing different variations, you know, testing a lot. I, one One person can't get enough data to materially say that there are statistically significant advantages between this card and its counterfactual like you just can't there's just no way to know so you know if you guys went and played this and all tweaked a few cards here and there and then we got some data together like yeah we could say okay listen crooked cook's good now we can still make qualitative based changes over time where we say like oh this card's always feeling dead in hand oh this just doesn't do anything there are definitely ways to get a feel for a deck oh that's annoying actually we have our coin cannoneer here just to try to high roll more I don't think so. You want to hit this, but then it opens up the kill on the guy. The game just froze. Are you kidding me? Hearthstone! Why? So you can make qualitative changes, you know, based on like, you know, just your own observations. And that can help if you spend a lot of time on it. I don't usually spend that much time optimizing a deck, but... But yeah, I don't think Rokoku is an insane idea anyway. Yeah, that, that seems to match since we're hitting face a lot anyway. I like the suggestion for sure. All right, did we get back in time? I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably just going to play it straight and go face, honestly. I think if I open up the one one for them, it's it's too much advantage to kill the three four. But I hope I have time left. I came. I was really quick. It was really quick. Ah! Dude, I am. Dude, you guys make fun of my APM sometimes. That was actually insane. That rope looked like freaking Fast and the Furious, dude. Did you see that? I'm an APM god. I didn't even get time. I just had my mouse waiting, knowing exactly where the card was. I'm a genius, bro. My opponent probably thinks I'm I'm BMing, but. I am the Flash, dude. Wow. I, f I honestly legitimately feel like a superhero. <laughs> I feel like a god. <sighs> uh, okay, that's annoying. That allows them to kill. I feel like that was going face, though. Oh. Oh. Well, I'll just hit that then. That's fine. Uh, Yeah, I'm not going to get sneaky here again. Okay. I really want to go face as much as I can, so. Uh, that was the trade I was worried about, but it's all right. Not that invested in the Defias Cannoneer anyway, protecting it, so... I don't know. Was hoping a pit. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should have hit the 2-3. I don't know. It's like that guarantees that guy's left at 2, though, and the 2-1 can kill it. But is the Cannoneer that much better? I don't know. Maybe a little better, but I don't think it's, like, crazy better. I don't know. Speedgis Kilbin instead of Regis. I love it. Speedgis. Good old Speedgis Kilbin. Man, they're not killing the Cannoneer again. They are taking some interesting lines. I'm very intrigued. I love it. I'm happy that it's happening. Uh, yeah, I think Morshawn's better to deny the 3-1 and the 3-2 weapon, right? 
I was thinking maybe maybe cannoneer is better again because you know it's a cannoneer, but I, I think this is better. I have the weapon and the freebooter next turn if I need to react a little bit more. Okay, so the six force here is pretty good actually. The, I feel a lot better about the Morshan with the whetstone buff. That makes it scale the buff better, which is nice. If it hits for six instead of four, I'm definitely a little happier. So this is a turn five. This is a turn six with something. I don't know what yet. Probably prefer to play like a man at arms or an obsidian smith than a freebooter at this stage, but it's okay. Woo! Did six. Nice. Really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, the four health here was such a clutch. Ooh. Okay, we're just gonna go now, I guess. This is a good follow-up next turn. We're hitting really, really hard here. Could try to snipe that, but I just want all the face damage I can get. If it dies, okay, free bonus. If not, two more face damage sets me up better, I think. So a little greedy, yes, but ultimately how we want to win the game, I think. All right, down to six. They're not on a uh, Hydralodon yet. They could have a pet collector that's decent. I have four plus a cannoneer. So often have six, depending on how much board they have. And I think if they do have board, it's going to be used to trade and will be either dead or softened up. So we'll see. Seems like they don't have anything that's an obviously good line here. No time for games. Am I hyped for the one piece TCG? Well, I didn't know that was a thing, so no, I guess not. I, I, I am only barely familiar with One Piece as uh, as a media anyway. I know that main character guy; I've seen him around, but beyond that, no. I'm afraid I can't say that I am excited. Lethal baby, nice dude. Guys, we we had a bad stretch there. I thought this deck was doomed, but since we've won four in a row, we're five and we're five and four. We have a positive win rate with Weapon Warrior.